So Glasgow has successfully improved its reputation in fields such as the arts, commerce, architecture, and tourism. Yet its reputation for health remains extremely poor, typified by deep fried Mars bars, rising obesity, and excessive alcohol consumption, which is socially acceptable. Indeed, the Glasgow effect has been coined to describe the city's unexpectedly poor health outcomes compared to other post-industrial British cities. Glasgow's premature mortality rate is almost 30% higher than other comparable cities, such as Liverpool or Manchester. In addition, the feeling of social isolation and exclusion, as well as established mental health problems, increase the likelihood of other diseases and raise the overall risk of mortality. In short, people in Glasgow and the west of Scotland are dying when they just shouldn't be. It's high time we address this problem directly and publicly. It's widely accepted that if you improve an individual's self-worth, um, this will improve their health. Our aim is to improve Glasgow's image of itself and so improve the health of the city as a whole. The health of Glasgow is a social problem which needs a social solution. We want to reverse the Glasgow effect, to tip it on its head, if you will. We want the Glasgow effect to become synonymous with health improvement, with the city reawakened. Under the slogan, Get the Glasgow Effect, we propose a program to tackle the issues that lead to ill health by drawing together communities at a local level. The change, the, to change the negative connotations of health in Glasgow in a source, uh, into a source of pride for all Glaswegians. We want to demonstrate that we can pull ourselves out of our image as a sick country of Europe and transform our city into one which flourishes. Local people often understand the problems at the heart of their community more than anyone else. Community health projects are already part of a government policy and numerous examples of successful projects can be found around the city. Our programme takes the open data to the community to start a discussion around health. The driving force for this project is the creation of a visual measure of health improvements which can be understood by all. Existing and routinely collected data will be used to produce heat, uh, heat mapping of relative changes in health and mortality in city district in city districts. A more, detail, a more detailed information on individual areas and local problems can be found by clicking on individual areas. A league table shows the relative ranking of different areas. As new data becomes available and the maps are updated, improvements in health and mortality would be clearly shown for each area. Seeing the data improve for your area would, improve, would provide an incentive to take positive action and help your neighbours improve their health. This is a bottom-up grassroots program. It's about using the data to challenge communities, to draw on their collective intelligence to find solutions for their own local problems, then to encourage them to set up initiatives which address these problems. For example, some areas may have high suicide and drug abuse, while others may have high cardiovascular disease and cancer. It's hoped this would encourage social cohesion and local identity, thereby reducing the social exclusion and disconnect often associated with poor health outcomes. Communic communities could see the fruits of their labour and take pride in the benefits they have brought about in their own communities. Media campaigns could also highlight success stories, further encouraging communities. This programme will be promoted with a flexible pl publicity campaign, associating the Glasgow effect with a positive change in the health of individuals and communities. Artists could also be commissioned to produce public artworks and events to launch the scheme. The website could link into existing health support services and to future projects. In developing this program, there's the possibility of gaining funding to support individuals to set up community projects of their own. Or through the provision of mentors. The brand could be expanded to other healthy activities within the city, including services and events provided through Glasgow Life. The strength of Get the Glasgow Effect is that it's specific to Glasgow, it deals with Glasgow's problem. The project does not prescribe methods for improving health, but it allows community to respond to their own particular needs. It encourages collaboration across generations, ethnic, economic, and gender boundaries. And it produces measurable outcomes using already existing data. Get the Glasgow Effect differs from many previous health promotion campaigns by focusing not on the problems, but on what can be achieved, inspiring creative community solutions. The project can make a lasting change to the health and self-image of our city. So let yourself flourish. Get the Glasgow effect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Judges? Any questions? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm struggling to phrase a question, but in effect, have you got any evidence that this works in, in affecting the, because the problem is that the, that the places where the issues are sharpest mm -hmm. are probably the places that have the least digital infrastructure connectivity and, and, and are um, being told to get their act together constantly. So I'm, I'm kind of struggling that the, in, to see how this actually engages the people who you want to engage. I think the, um, the strength of this lies in that um, I think it's, a, it's because it's a grassroots approach and it's really about taking the community and encouraging the communities. We have, uh, we've actually, we, uh, over the weekend we sent out a survey just to get some ideas of what would incentivize people and that's the kind of thing we'd like to continue to so actually ask people out in the community what would incentivize them to improve their health. And we'd love to test out, we had some sort of more fun ideas, and it'd be great to actually take them out and see if those kind of more fun, quirky ideas could actually... All right, um, there's not much time for questions. So Sorry. did you hack anything together with the data sets and the, the, the uh, Ordnance Survey yeah, maps? Uh, we had the maps and we put it up. It's on gettheglasgoeffect.org uh, slash maps. Right, it would have been good to see that in the presentation uh, to show was, that you'd done was, something. It was, that was what the map was, was right. the website, and you can click and see the different data sets on the map. I think, uh, yeah, so it, <laughs> in, in that, there was, there was something that was, um, it was, there was a real value there. I think we struggled to maybe realize that. Um, the, what you've essentially conceived of is, is fundamentally a campaign which is trying to change hearts and minds and I think Glasgow has typically been quite responsive to that. You know, seen a play by the way in the city of culture was surprisingly effective. Um, I'm struggling a wee bit to see the innovation and I think this gentleman to my left is right in the sense that sometimes the very people we're trying to reach are, are the ones which are hardest and are least engaged in technology. But, but there is something, that, I mean, I, so I guess I'm asking the same question. Is there, have you thought of any other ways how you might reach those groups? Uh, I mean, I guess it's a, a big problem that uh, they're always going to be hard to reach and other projects have failed to reach them. And I think part of the innovation is that we want to be really, we want to respond to what the community wants, test our ideas on the community and actually go out to the communities, try out different things and kind of take, uh, use approaches like split testing, sort of marketing approaches to try and uh, engage people. I just think the importance of visual representation can't be ignored here, but for me it was about reds and greens and, and you know, there's a lot in health and therefore for me it's about what are you actually wanting to make people aware of, who are you trying to make them aware of this and what are you trying to make them aware of? So I guess the, the greens and reds, they weren't just the these are the bad areas, these are the good areas, there are comparisons over time. So it's really about can you turn your community around? What can you do today as an individual to help your community to actually improve its health overall? And what can you set up? Thank you, Glasgow Effect.